My brothers and sisters, good evening. This is the evening prayer for Monday, March 14th, 2022, Monday of the second week of Lent. And let us begin our evening prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God arises to judge the earth. Come, let us adore. One of the ways in which we carry out the age-old human temptation to become like gods is to appoint ourselves judges of the universe and all that is in it, including ourselves and others. Yet our judgments are often flawed in selfishness. It is better to leave judgment in God's judging hands, as today's gospel exhorts us. And let us pray. God stands in the divine assembly. In the midst of the gods, he gives judgment. How long will you judge unjustly and favor the cause of the wicked? Do justice for the weak and the orphan, defend the afflicted and the needy? Rescue the weak and the poor, set them free from the hand of the wicked. Unperceiving, they grope in the darkness, and the order of the world is shaken. I have said to you, you are gods, and all of you, sons of the Most High, and yet you shall die like men, you shall fall away like any of the princes. Arise, O God, and judge the earth, for you rule all the nations. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. A reading from the first book of Corinthians. It does not concern me in the least that I be judged by you or any human tribunal. I do not even pass judgment on myself. I am not conscious of anything against me. But I do not hereby stand acquitted. The one who judges me is the Lord. Therefore, do not make any judgment before the appointed time, until the Lord comes, for he will bring to light what is hidden in darkness, and will manifest the motives of our hearts, and then everyone will receive praise from God. The Word of the Lord. And on this Monday evening, brothers and sisters, let us say hello to our Mother Mary by reciting the Canticle of Mary, and let us pray. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. And this day all generations will call me blessed, and the Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm, and he has scattered the proud under conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. As sharers in the world's sin, we stand before the Lord and cry out, Lord, have mercy. And the response to our intercessions, Lord, have mercy. To those who suffer from scriptualicity, grant the light to see the truth of your love. Lord, have mercy. To those who sit in judgment on their neighbors, grant the gifts of humility and charity. Lord, have mercy. And to those who imagine themselves without fault, grant wisdom and self-knowledge. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray, let us offer to God our own personal intentions, culled from the silence of our hearts. Lord, have mercy. And on this Monday evening, brothers and sisters, let us pray and recite the Lord's Prayer, the Our Father, as Jesus himself has taught us, and we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us trespassers, as we forgive others who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And let us say good night to our Mother Mary by reading the Marian Antiphon, also known as the Ave Regina Calorum. Hail, O Queen of Heaven enthroned! Hail, by angels mistress owned! Root of Jesse, gate of morn! Whence the world's true light was born! Glorious Virgin, joy to thee! Loveliest whom in heaven they see! Fairest thou, were all our fair, plead with Christ our souls to spare. May grace, mercy, and peace be with us from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And let us end our evening prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever, a world without end. Amen. Have a good night, everybody.